At the age of 67 years, Mrs. Lydia Olon Tayo Emmanuel died on the 15th of August 2017, 14 years after her husband's death. Her death was no doubt a painful loss to the family, friends, and the church members as they all stormed a hometown in Yagbaya East local government area of Kogi State for a burial rite. There was a brief service in the family compound, and then in a motorcade, her body was taken straight to her final resting place at the Christian Cemetery. An emotional goodbye to their beloved mother by her children and members of our community who benefited from her goodwill. From the interment straight to the church for a Thanksgiving service at the Trinity Salvation Church of Christ, where their mother was a very active member during her lifetime. The 
the service came to an end and it was followed by a reception for guests. <laughs> Joining them at the reception was a member of the House of Representatives, Chief James Abiodun Falike, royal fathers from Okunland, APC stalwarts, and very important guests. <laughs> loving mother. She joined all of us together. We did not separate ourselves. We love ourselves. No any grudges again within us. I miss my mom a lot because she's a good mother. She always advises us to be kind to others. Now anything we have we should share with others. My mother is a kind-hearted woman, so loving and so caring. And if I will come to this world again, I will wish and pray to see come through her, because she's just so kind. I can bet it with you, if you had met her, you would know what I'm saying, that she is the best and nobody is as good as my mother. Mama was a very kind person, very lovely, and above all, God-fearing person. We miss her a lot. Mrs. Lydia Olon Tayo Emmanuel was born on the 15th of January 1950. She started her education pursuit in 1958 at the Missionary School, where she obtained the Standard 6 certificate. She later enrolled at Blessed Advancement Classes in Kano State, where she studied typing and shorthand, but her entrepreneurial drive led her to become a trader. A job she used in supporting her family after the death of her husband. She survived by five children, grandchildren, in-laws and family members. Mm -hmm. 